Hello, so today's session is going to be about self-portraits working directly from the mirror. So this is the ideal setup where the mirror is directly in front of us and our paper is opposite. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to do some just straight on, front on self-portraits. Try and remember to tilt our page towards us because if we get into the practice of drawing flat all the time, what tends to happen is we elongate our drawing. Once we're set and we're, and we're happy with the position, you want to just try and practice just flicking your eye down to your page and flicking it back up. Uh, when we're drawing from life, we're looking 90% of the time at our subject matter and 10% and of the time at what we do is where we, um, we have a break and we assess. That is a completely separate thing. Um, we can't assess and create at the same time. They're two completely different disciplines. So we're in our starting position. We're opposite our mirror. I'm going to start with the eye. We're going to work from the particular to the general. Try and be as accurate as possible from the, from the start. We're not going to develop into tone now because tone really is an extension of line. Well, one of the things that people generally forget is that is that line above the eye um our eyelid um so mine's just peeking out there on the right hand side and the bottom eyelid you don't really want to give too much weight to you want to give it slightly softer line um above the eye you want to give a slightly bit more emphasis i'm not even really paying too much attention about what the particular feature is. Yeah, it's yeah. a space and a shape. Um, and if we get the spaces right and we get the shapes right, then it will look like that feature. So I've got, I've got an eye there. Now really what I want to do next is I want to work my way over so I can start the other eye so then I can get the nose on. If I look carefully, I can see a bit of the bridge of the nose there and there's a bit of a shadow and then it works over to um, a line in between my eyes there and then a little bit over there's another shadow and then I've reached the corresponding um, sort of bridge top bridge of my nose there now my other eye is just gonna start there now our eyes aren't symmetrical um you know each eye is going to be different and my eye on this side the lid is slightly more pronounced and then it goes back into the what top I'm doing thing. is i'm sort of i am paying attention about what is directly above you know, or below things. And this is called dropping your verticals and projecting your horizontals. The width of my nose is directly below my eye, just right there. And I, and I can tell because I've got to close one of my eyes if I line it up. So that's exactly where it is. And if I draw sort of a very faint line, that's where my nose is going to be, somewhere down this line. Now, because we're we're slowly getting down, I've broken some of the space up. I've got this sort of um, line under my eye. Got a little speck right there, going diagonally, and I think my nose starts there. Now, sometimes this is you know it's a bit of guesswork. I'm um, you know alternatively. You know, because we're sort of like breaking the space and we're finding our way to where we want to go. Another thing you could do is you could, and it's a little bit tricky with a mirror because obviously you're seeing two pencils when you're measuring. But you could you could um, measure how many eyes widths go in, you know, into your nose. It's a little bit tricky, but you can do it. So we've got we've got the eyes, we've got the nose. 
It's all built from this side. We want to get down to the lips. We can relate it back to what we've drawn before. Now, generally, the top lip is slightly in shadow. So you can give it a bit of bit of a slightly heavier tone. The line in, in between our lips is the most important part. That's where the expression comes from. It's never, ever, ever just a straight line. There is always some undulation there. Generally, there is always shadow cast from the bottom lip onto the chin just below. We should eventually find our way to the chin. Depending on the angle of your head, whether it is tilted um, forwards or back, our eyes might not necessarily appear in the centre of our head. What you can do is you can measure it again. Look on your pencil. Because of the angle of my head, I've got it slightly tilted. My eyes don't appear directly in the middle, which is which they should do. I know it looks a bit strange now, but it's just a little bit, um, you know, it's a little bit lower like that. Now, so I've got the, I've got my chin, I've got the top of my head. Now we build the the shape of the face around the features. So this space here, I think you can gauge by relating it to. Um, the eye. Now the ears, um, we again, we can project our horizontal so we can look across to see where it comes in relation to what we've drawn previously. So I've got the top of the head. So all the time we're flicking our eye, remember, to our page, up to the mirror. So I wanna give a slightly harder line there, harder line there. Some, I wanna put a body on, on, this, uh, on this portrait. So again, I can look to see where things start. So my neck appears just there in relation to my lips. This is where my hood comes out um, on this. I just want to suggest, otherwise it's just a floating head. And again, just looking at this, I'm just looking at the negative space, that space there to, to get the, um, the top. Now I've got the, I've got the basic front on portrait. It's all started from this eye here and I've worked outwards to create, you know, a pretty accurate um, from life drawing.